if we look around there are so many types of plants and animals whether we consider size color shape or anything else we find there are umpteen number of plants and animals which are there and it is this variety which is called biodiversity now let us take the case of size there are microbes which are so small that even a simple microscope or compound microscope is not sufficient to look into it while there are huge animals not just elephant or whale the blue whale is about 30 meters long and what about the trees the redwood tree of california which is supposedly the tallest tree is as tall as 100 meters let's consider color there are some aquatic organisms which are transparent while others are fluorescent they have their own light you have glow worms also which have their own light and then a variety of colors a bonanza of colors blue purple green you name the color and you find it in the nature the complexity of the organization very simple just unicellular organism to a highly complex organism like mammals and among the mammals the human beings so whatever criteria we may take we find that there is a huge diversity now how to study so many organisms if we start trying to understand them or try to study them one by one it's not possible at least in one lifetime because it has taken millions of years to create this diversity so how you i or anybody else have that much of time energy resources to be able to study so what did our scientists do they thought that let's classify them like classification is what just the grouping anything we want to make easy and systematic we group it whether it is our clothes our books or any other belongings or whether it is a shopkeeper who has his medicines in case of a chemist or a general merchant everybody classifies so that the work becomes easy so the biologists world over also tried from time to time to classify their organisms the first one was aristotle he is a greek philosopher and he has done lot of work in every field of science so what he said was that we could classify them according to habitat so he said there are organisms which are aquatic that is found in water terrestrial found on land or aerial found in air but this grouping was not really very appropriate because if even if we take one habitat let's take sea the marine animals now in the marine animal we have whale also we have shark also we have fishes also we have diatoms also octopus also sea anemone also and the starfish also where is the similarity there is so much of variation even within the marine habitat so this was left 